Hi everybody, how's it going? And this is your pal Rob in real time. Long time no see. Um, I've been gone because uh, I had a health issue with sciatica. Uh, it's a very debilitating symptom, nerve problem I have that I couldn't sit up or uh, stand. And I was using a white cane for a while. So yeah, guys, I, I had to uh, recover that. If I can at least to uh, get back to uh, streaming or doing shooting videos because that requires a lot of sit down and stuff. But now I'm doing exercises for sciatica to get me better. And I'm even get, I got a pillow to help me out. Let me show you. So yeah, if you got sciatica, you're gonna need a pillow like this. And because if you do anything where you sit down a lot, boy, you're gonna use, need that. Um, and, it, and it happens to even active people, even people who have jobs where they stand up a lot. Surprisingly, I, I did not know. Yeah, I go, Sayada, what? Yeah, I was one of those people. So, enough of that. I'm glad it, wh whoever's still around to watch my, my stuff, I highly appreciate it. Many blessings to you. I hope, I'm sorry, I, I, uh, I was absent for a while, but I had it, this took precedent, and uh, I had to get my health back, and before I can comfortably uh, start doing videos again so um, but um, just around um, um, when I started recovering from my sciatica um, I, like around uh, April the second first or second week of April me and my friend uh, got together and we decided to check out this movie called nobody and we actually went to the theater and seen it so I thought this is a good time to uh, do a Rob in real time uh, video because I have only been watching movies and streaming and that is no fun so let's go to it's not about me folks it's about the movie and the movie is where you're here to see is uh, nobody um, and as you can see it's on demand and uh, let's go here and uh, let's go check on the synopsis so you guys know, uh, or let's go to IMD, IMDB, and right here the stars. You know some of the stars, guys. I'm sorry if I'm off the off the camera, but it's uh, we got Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk is you know him from uh, Better Call Saul. Let's uh, Aleski Serbryakov, Connie Nielsen. And there's a, let me just go to the full cast, just to have this ready to go because um, there's a few people I'm going to refer to in this. And here's some photos so I can refer to folks. So let's go back over here and let's go up to the synopsis. So if you guys don't know the synopsis, let me just read it out real quick for you, okay? Um, let's see. Um, uh, so. It's about, uh, okay, so Bob Alderick, you know him from Better Call Saul, Post and Nebraska, he plays Hutch, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing this, so that way uh, you can, if you want to check this uh, website out, it's at nobody.movie, uh, um, and then it has a forward slash, I'll put a link below. Uh, under uh, he's an underestimated and overlooked dad and husband taking life in dignities and uh, on the chin never pushing back a nobody okay so when two thieves break into a suburban home one night Hutch declines to defend himself or his family hoping to prevent serious violence his teenage son played by Blake or uh, Blake his son Blake named played by Gage Monroe uh, the shack is uh, disappointing, disappointed in him and his wife, Becca Connie Nielsen, Wonder Woman, seems, uh, I, I guess she appeared in Wonder Woman, uh, seems to pull only further away. So this is a very long synopsis, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna read the entire th entire area of it. So, but because uh, I want you guys to kind of go and see the movie, during this movie, it was, uh, it's one of those movies that this guy has been overlooked and he's been pushed around. And after the break-in, um, he like like the synopsis said, 
it's exactly what they said the son the son uh kind of looks down at the dad because he didn't protect them but there's something more but like in all movies there's something more um we know that uh there's something more to bob or hutch um hutch mansell and uh he is uh he's actually uh more of a fighter than you think and if you've seen so just just see the go to go to here um uh, to uh nobody.movie uh, uh, to find out uh to see the to see the trailer guys because i can't show you the trailer only thing i can do because it's you know they'll strike me down with any kind of uh, um, music or in in a movie, even in preview. Like I tried it with the 1917 and they hit me with something. So let's just see. Like right here, here's one of the scenes that I can uh, show you. So right here, uh, the son and his wife, and he has a daughter. And uh, see, the, so this, so he thinks his dad is a wimp. His wife kind of is losing interest in him, and uh, um, the, the little girl still loves the dad, um, so at least he has his daughter. But uh, let's go here into the, the gallery, and I can't use the videos, I'm sorry guys, I wish I could, but um, it starts off um, right here, and uh, like uh, he starts taking action. It's a guy who finally decides I'm going to take action. But it's not just like that. He has a mysterious past. He, nobody knows exactly who he is. And apparently the people he's dealing with uh, is involved with the, the Russian mafia. So he, he's like he's dealing with a big time gang that uh, affected, that attacked his family. Um, these thieves are tied to this Russian mafia somehow. In the previews, at least you can see him fighting and they show you a really great fight scene in a uh, bus. Really close quarter combat. Really good uh, shootouts. It's basically a guy who, uh, it's like a, re it's a revenge story. He has a family he's trying to protect right here in this scene. Um, just check the trailer. They're trying to ask, um, like the police are trying to ask, uh, investigate him here. And, uh, and this is like always the famous interrogation scenes where they usually do good cop, bad cop. To no avail because this guy is hardened. He is actually uh, a professional, but he's say, but to keep asking him like, hey dude, you've, uh, you know, you got too many skills. Like it doesn't make sense. He's like, who are you? And, they, and he keeps saying nobody, right? So there you go. That's the that's the catchphrase of the movie and uh, you can see when it starts getting uh, throughout the movie as things progress and and thing hits the fan uh, you start seeing that he's not just a nobody he's actually very well uh, a very well trained individual that doesn't just have like just backyard training or just you know he went to the local YMCA to learn some Taekwondo. No, he he actually has uh, some serious training. You find that out in the movie. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but it the the movie kind of hints at it. And if you're going in, you know pretty much going in. That's what you're in for. So in a nutshell, guys, kind of like a vent revenge story, but the stakes here aren't that like the loss isn't as bad. So I mean, let me rate this movie to you. Like right now. When we look at IMDb and uh, you type in nobody, so I'm just showing you right now nobody, right? So yeah, so right here in the first page, I didn't look. They rated a 7.4. I think that's about fair. I I, I use I do like a one to five scale scale. So uh, one to five, I give it a like a a three point a three point five. Uh, it's better than average. Yeah, that's what I think about this movie. It's it's a it's better than average. There are some memorable scenes in it. It's a fun movie just to relax and just kind of chill and kind of just see how this guy handles his business. And um, also, um, very important is he, he has help from, let's see, uh, Christopher Lloyd. We know him as Doc Brown from Back to the Future, who plays Hutch. Christopher Lloyd plays David Mansell. He's the father of Hutch Mansell. So, and also there's another gentleman, uh, an actor, uh, where, where is he? Is it 
Joey. It's a Joey here. Is that all we got of him? Just Joey. Adrian. Yeah, is that it? Okay, yeah, Adrian. I think that might be him. I'm not sure. So, Adrian McLean, I believe. Yeah, Adrian McLean. So, Adrian McLean is also another guy that comes to uh, Hutch's, who plays Joey. Hutch, Joey comes to help David Manzel and Hutch Manzel. So, there's like a small team of guys to take on this mafia. So, it, it, it's kind of an interesting flick. It's, it's fun. It, I don't know if, it's, uh, if there's going to be a sequel. There could be a sequel. They kind of left it open to a sequel. Um, actually, not really left it as open to a sequel. I think it's like it, they just could add a sequel easily to this movie. But they ended it as a one-off. So if you just seen this movie, and they might not ever shoot another nobody again. So <laughs> that sounds funny. So yeah. So yeah, I give this movie like a like about a 3.5 on the on my uh, rating scale and I think it is worth the watch um, it's entertaining it's fun that is it so check out nobody it's in theaters now and it's also streaming go over here you can just go to the nobody uh, website nobody.movie and you can go to you watch over here and uh, you can stream it on, on all these things Fandango now I'll get it from Microsoft Prime Video Apple TV Vudu and then but I always say, you know what, man? Support your local theaters, man. They, they I know it's, well, I don't know. I, I guess I don't. I want to. I want to recommend the theaters. But if you go to the movie, if you're if you're brave enough and you wanna ch go to the theaters, you can. You know, to you know, then then go uh, by all means. Who am I to tell you not to go? There's the. They give you right now listings of where you can watch the movie. So that's pretty cool. So it's all on the website here. Just check out uh, nobody at movie dot nobody dot movie dot whatever. <laughs> it's a com, I guess. No, it's actually dot movie. So check out nobody. Um, it's in theaters now, and oh, check it on demand. It's already playing. If you don't want to go out and catch anything, or you know, you just feel real nervous about. I understand that. But if you want to brave it, check out the theaters and support your local theaters, your favorite theater. They're disappearing, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that Regal Cinemas just opened up, so yay, Regal. Okay, so anyways, guys, um, I think that's about it. Uh, I hope to see you again at another episode of Robin Real Time. I'll be coming back soon with another episode. Okay, bye.